Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to what should have really been part 3 of this campaign. Um, I recorded part 2 and then realised that it hadn't actually recorded properly but I'd already saved the campaign and so we've lost about 20 minutes of footage unfortunately but luckily it is only 20 minutes so it shouldn't be a problem. So what I'll do is just quickly recap. So in the first episode if you remember we already had this province secured. We'd moved north to Blacklight Tower, then moved east to Karand Car. We then had an army here, ready to march south to take Slaver's Point. Now, as you can see, Slaver's Point has now been captured. Um, so what I did was I came in, I did some raiding to try and sort this food problem out and get some more money. They sent an army out, big battle there, beat them. They then ran back, I then came in, took Slaver's Point. The following turn, there was rebellion because there was so much um, dislike because of the unrest and that, that a small dark elf army has appeared here and is attacking Karand Kar. Um, as you can see, got a lot of buildings upgraded. On this side, building wise, I actually destroyed the barracks on this side, building, because I wanted to build it here, because this one could go to tier 3, as you can see, so getting storm them quickly, and when this gets to tier 3, I'm going to work on the construction cavern, so we can work our way up to getting doom wheels, warp lightning cannons, play capos, that sort of thing. But I am really sorry for the fact that we did actually miss the battles here. I mean, not much, too much happened. I mean, Richt has got some more points. He's now level 9. Um, so as you can see, he's got Lucky Skullharm, Life is Cheap, Ultimate on Pack Leader, and Respect and Fear, which ups the Storm Vermin and Death Runners, which is something really valuable from this guy. As you can see, these are now silver and gold. Because they did an absolutely amazing job slaughtering Dark Elves in their hundreds. Um, but really unfortunate that the recording did go around. I am double checking to make sure it is recording properly. So we're, this is going to be a quick episode. Because the problem is the second one kind of left at our point where it's like what do you want me to do next. Of course you've not had a chance to do that because the video never came out. So what I'm going to do is just use this one as a de update and an apology. Um, it will... Oh is that free stuff? It is. But... Not now. Um, I believe this is a uh, pretty good strength. I mean, the fact that they've immediately attacked that. I should be able to leave that a turn. Because I want the public order to get better. It's going to go up by 20. That's quite a bit. So we're end turn. Um, also, we did unlock Ruthless Plans. And now doing harsh Production Quotas. Um, obviously, which makes Skaven Slaves and Clan Rats cheaper. And yeah, I think that's everything, but I do apologise for that, obviously it is a huge inconvenience, but I'm going to do what should have been the third episode now, as the second episode, so you guys get a video today, it will be quite a short one though, because like I said, it's pretty much going to be deal with leaves, update, and then you guys comment on where you want me to go next, so quite a quick video, it is a pain, I do apologise. Well, I might do actually to make up for it is maybe do an extra video once I've got some feedback from you guys what to do and then do an extra feed because I was going to do Dawn of War tomorrow and then um, well Thursday and then do the third video Friday for this before the tournament starts but I might slip in another do double build tomorrow do Dawn of War and this once I've got some feedback so obviously do comment quickly what you guys want me to do um, that's looking alright now, so if I move them up. Yeah, still plus 20, fantastic. Okay then. Or is that going to drop now? No, I think it is plus 20, fantastic. Okay then. So that's sorting out. Does that get bigger? It is, in fact, getting bigger, so we probably want to get in there quickly. Um, and I don't think anything's built yet. No, I've got another turn to go there. So we'll go up, go another turn. As you know, I'm a very slow, careful player. You may also notice that we're low on food, but money is just ridiculous at this point. The game keeps throwing us money, but we can't buy food with it. We can't eat gold, apparently. So, bit of a pain. But yeah, I like the way these guys are kind of rose up. Like, this is the resistance. This is all that's left of them to fight back against the Skaven. But we're going to slaughter them because they destroyed my Doom Wheel here. And so I will slaughter them. Yeah, I don't think they're attacking good. Oh, good. Oh, Black Ark. That's... Oh, they're allies, though. That should be fine, then. 
I don't actually know how the mechanics of Black Ark work, but I have heard some people complain that it's just not that good. Oh good, so that's done now. So we can now build that. And what else can we build? Could do that, but money's not a thin, is it? At the moment, it's not that big a deal. I'm, again, that's money. I'm not that bothered. Um, yeah, I think I might do that one as well, so I can get the catapults and rat ogres. Oh, and I can upgrade that. That's being upgraded. As we said, I've got plenty of money. I've just spent it all. Uh, yeah, I can upgrade that. But it'd just be a few turns of waiting, and then we'd be able to do it again. So, I mean, can I actually run? Oh, no, of course I can't because it's under siege. So, move him up. Yeah, food is becoming a serious problem. I guess I could. Oh, God. Well, Dark Riders, are they? Oh, no, they're just the Loy Cavalry, only Harpies. Some Dread Spears. I'm kind of tempted just to wait it out. See what happens. But yeah, um, yeah, so enter. Just focus on kind of clearing this area, build up my economy. You're gonna fast forward. Thank you. It's so annoying though about food. We need to probably start raiding somewhere. But also, this, um, Starting Monday, we also have the tournament starting on Monday. That will occupy my entire channel for about two weeks. That's because there's going to be two videos a day. Um, three battles a video. So, it's going to be a lot. We yeah, should probably just destroy them. What's that? There you go. Very nice. And we got four. We do have reinforcements, but they're pretty battered. But yeah, actually, no, they're just dread spears. Some harpies, some Oh we should just Oh, we should just own this. Send in the settlement ones first, which are all the wounded ones. Send them in first. To soak up damage. And then these guys can come in afterwards. So yes, um, just trying to think if I should do a video on the weekend. Might be out of it. It's got to be a bit time on time, actually. Yeah, so it'll probably be, um, if you guys reply to this quite quickly, I should be able to get a video done for Thursday um, to fit in the fact that this one's only a short episode and then have another one Friday. So it'll be three episodes in a row, three days. Um, and then there will be a break for this campaign and the Dawn of War campaign as I focus on the tournament, which is going to take up all of my time for a bit. Um, yeah, I think that covers everything. So yeah, I mean, very excited. The tournament's going absolutely brilliantly. Few upsets, it's got to be said. There are a few. Oh, our reinforcements. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, it's just the fact that our reinforcements march on their reinforcements just appear. We should just storm through this, though. I mean, they've got nothing, to be honest. So gonna do them there. Um, these guys will be here. We just outnumber them so much; it's ridiculous. It's literally like four to one. Okay, um, slingers. There and there. Yeah, and we want the spearmen taking on their cavalry. You guys would be reserves. Is there anyone else? Oh, I forgot it. Is that everyone? Yes, it is. Okay. So we're gonna. 
But yeah, I'm just going to walk over them. But I want to promise you guys a battle. Because obviously, it's only going to be a short episode. But it's literally just going to be... Scaven slaves, move up. These guys just gonna run around, but this should be a quick victory. Right, where is he's getting the thick of it? Good, good, good. Oh, that we're already winning this rank. Here comes the Skaven Slaves. Here comes the unit here. They're going to get into the Dark Shards, which is going to just mess them up. Guys, you might as well fight them. Right, come on, get into the backs. Reinforcements en route. The cavalry, I'm not quite sure what they're trying to achieve, but this could be over in minutes. We've pretty much got them fully surrounded at this point. Support them, you're attacking there. Let's bring them in. And look, we've got the second army now coming in. It's like, oh dear. No chance. So of course we do have units running because it's Skaven, it would have been a good battle. How much do we outnumber them? We got over 3,000. This seems, I would say unfair, but we're Skaven, so it's actually perfectly valid. Is that the, oh no, that's definitely more than. Oh yeah, I forgot you got consuming bombs. What's left? Come on, just make them break. I think that is all that's left of these units. I take that back. The commander's still going. <laughs> and there's some guys there. There we go. Yeah, no, they had a lot in all of this. Nah, I just had the bow. There you go. Say then. Okay then. The fact that we lost 277 is quite bad. Um, <laughs> actually, I think most of them were the slingers that got caught by the harpies. Yeah, look, 95 kills. That would have definitely been these guys then. Oh dear. But there, nice quick battle there. But when these videos are only like 20 minutes long, hopefully I should be able to do an episode tomorrow and Friday if I get some quick feedback from Nothing you guys. Me, me. I'm not too worried about that, but getting that would be a lot better. Nice, okay. Let's actually look at his equipment. So he's got Sword of Battle. Very nice. Talisman of Protection. Potion. Yeah, he's got. Magic Resistance. Okay, then. Nothing else? Nope. Strict, which is good. Lords of Adrachi. Oh, nice. So I get plus five leadership when fighting Dark Elves. Oh, I love it. No wonder my guys barely ever break then. This is just, I'm just going to ultra reserve this because this should be. Yeah, as you can see, it's just a boom done. In fact, I guess I even joined it. I'm going to do that. Oh, look at the food we're getting. Killed in battle. And then get him in there. No need to pick that up, but that should pick. Yep, that up. Fantastic. 
And the tower, the tower's over there. So do we want to pick, what sort of building do we want in there? I guess, actually, we'll pick that one in now, help with public order, won't it? And get some more income, because income's important. Sign points. Ooh, what's this? For traders. Income from raiding, very passive. Storm Vermin get 10 points for charge bonus. Um, oh, and then he gets a, boat, a buff. Constant. Uh, disabled of losing in melee combat, but if you're winning, anyone within 40 minutes get 10 plus percent weapon damage. Nine. Ma uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Grab that. That's really nice. Let's see what that's about. Why is that on fire? Does anyone know? No? Okay. That's nice, though. That's really nice. So, as I said, this is only going to be a quick video because I did kind of mess up before. But as you can see, our position is actually very good. We now have both provinces. The. What's that? The Clawed Coast and the Broken Lands is now ours. So, we've got allies here and here. And you can remember, these allies have allowed us to have military access so we can march through their territories without problem and is that the axe of dark elves i believe that is actually yeah nagarond so guys what should we do next do we go west and attack these guys the exiles of so tomb kings do we go north along the sea of claws and take out the norska here and start moving across there's an empty castle there for some reason hmm. Or do we just hop across and take these little factions out? Or do we start a massive war with Nagaron? Which I think would be a bad idea. I think we should either secure the northern coast or move west and start like a second base here. Because if we get retaliated, these guys build their buffer. But then if we go on that side, yeah. So it's up to you guys. You are the count of 13, you viewers. Um, please comment below what you want me to do and I'll see if I get time to try and do another video tomorrow to make up the fact that this one was such a short one. So thank you very much for joining me. If you like what you see do hit that like button, comment below what you want me to do. Um, also thoughts of names, name cities, name units, come up with some lore like we did at the Chaos Campaign, absolutely brilliant feedback from that one. And hit subscribe if you haven't already because of course you get to see this campaign, you get to see the Dawn of War original campaign. And of course, I've got that big tournament coming up over the next two weeks where I've got 14 YouTubers battling it out. Um, and there's going to be 69 battles in total that's going to be covered in the next two weeks. 69. That is ridiculous. So definitely um, subscribe for that for more action. And I'll catch you guys next time. Till then, take care.